So we have some interesting things to work with here, I think. Um, try again from the beginning. We'll just take some passages and uh, see if we can make some small adjustments to help this be tangible. become less and less important yeah. it's how I it's how I interpret it uh -huh. and so that's I don't know if that's the way to keep your audience yeah. interested in what's coming next uh. right yeah. so I know we don't we don't want to accent everything. it's not good either but can you create a shape with those five notes that suggest that there's something else coming after the rest it's not so easy, huh? Create more, more of a question, more anticipation of what's coming next. It gets better, yeah, yeah. I would even, even maybe just almost, almost like a tiny little crescendo. Yeah, yes, yes, very, very small, very subtle, but you're expecting it to go to the third beat. So, so start from the beginning again. Mm -hmm. uh, be careful with the ornament. Always play to the resolution of the ornament. Uh, it's, it's as if we lose the begin we lose the notes because of the, the, the opening of the ornament is so strong. You really want to hear the resolution of the ornament. be separated and I, I agree I think there's a separation here I don't think you know, some pianists play with yeah. lots of pedal and I think it loses something from the style for me um, but just because it's not pedal and very romantic doesn't mean it can't have melodic quality so so that's the problem it's, it's, it's too it's kind of poking yeah, yeah. It's true. I like it, yeah, yeah, because that time you also showed us a difference between those two chords. Dynamics, articulation, these things are always subordinate to clarity of the melody. Clarity? Cl oh, clear. The clarity of the melody is always the most important thing, oh. I, I believe, always. So I would never come off of a, of a two-note slur at the expense of clarity. I mean, who could possibly hear the resolution? So it must actually resolve to another note. Mm -hmm. It helps to push the hand in, I think, on the resolution. It's hard, easier to play soft, balanced, soft chords with a subtle forward motion.
sort of... Now, quality of sound here. Can you start again this thing? It's, it's, it's also a little... First of all, simplicity is really, really important. Just playing what is on the page. Mm -hmm. it's, it's perfectly written as mm -hmm. it is. And so the expressive qualities that we bring to this piece should be very subtle, mm -hmm. very minimal beyond what's already here. Um, what's interesting is that you did the most, you, you added the most personal expression in the simplest passages, and the you know the places where the theme is the simplest, the most, uh, the texture is the simplest, and then as the theme became more ornamented and uh, more dramatic and f the texture fuller, you began to get more conservative with your expression. So I thought that was interesting because I hear it the opposite way. I think as Chopin added his secondary voices, this is just, you know, undeniably more expressive. The other thing is, is uh, keeping a sense of the basic dance rhythm within the piece. This is another quality of so much of his music. So many liberties, but, you know, a different theme must be a different tempo, you know. A, d a different modulation to a new key must be a new tempo, you know. And, yeah. and really, this is not the case. It's not. It really works best when the dance is always is pretty consistent. You don't find Chopin actually telling you to change the tempo. Yeah. Hardly at all. Mm. There's a few places in Cello Rondo, there's a Cello Rondo, even the coda. The coda isn't even marked at a different tempo until the very final statement of the coda in bar 227. Yeah. And the opening, you know, it's, it's very cliche to play. Yeah. That match, you know, it's, it's, it's not necessary. That's it, right. Keep it going. <laughs> Keep it going. Each time more ornate, yeah. So that that is the opportunity maybe to be more expressive, more open with the way you show the rhythm and the phrasing. Here, simple. I like this much much better than what you did before. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm confused a little bit though by uh, the way you shape 
the melody line. I don't know yeah. what's important to you. For example, it's the slurs. Well, do you like this note here or this one? That no. one. Okay, I, I, I as well. Yeah, and I didn't hear that from you. So I think you have to be a little clearer about conveying your ideas. Yes.